We are a food power vehicle challenge team, and we are here today to show you our budget. Uh, so here is our design for the fluid power vehicle challenge. So our design is centered around four different systems, the hydraulic, the electronics, the pneumatics, and the uh, mechanical systems. For mechanical system, we just customize our frame to, to have the three wheel vehicles. It's, uh, and we model the uh, very rack uh, uh, mount. It's help us to allow, uh, it uh, allows us to have more flexibility uh, for component and add more stabil stability and space for the component. The, the materials that we use for the frame is uh, rectangular aluminum uh, T6061. It's lightweight and easy to manufacture. And for the old bike, we just recycle it so to save money on time. First, to get an understanding of this slide, we need to explain the term safety factor. Safety factor explains the strength of the system. A safety factor less than one means the system will fail. The goal for our project is add a safety factor above two. As you can see, our vehicle is very strong. We had two different people on our frame at the same time, which validates the safety factor of eight. Next, the sprockets have a certain tooth ratio to achieve a certain speed on our vehicle. They're also strong enough to withstand high amounts of torque from the power generated from the accumulator, and they have a safety factor of two and four. The chain is also very strong. One pin on the chain has a safety factor of two. Okay, so this is our hydraulic circuit, which is an accumulation of experience gained after multiple revisions, small-scale prototyping using medical tubing, and many hydraulic expert interviews. It consists of over 14 different hydraulic components, including one hydraulic reservoir, one pump, two motors, two directional control valves, one accumulator, one hand pump, a few check valves, and even a safety measure added in the pressure relief valve. If it looks confusing, well, it, it is, so let me try to simplify it. There are four modes here that you can see that the rider can choose from by simply pressing a, a button. The first mode is shown in green is their drive mode or our default mode, which happens just when the rider chooses to pedal. It takes fluid from the reservoir and sends it through the motors, turning the wheels. The second mode shown in red is our regenerative braking mode, where the rider takes advantage of his or her own kinetic energy or movement to force fluid into the accumulator by blocking fluid access to the return to the reservoir. The third mode is our accumulator drive mode, or in other words, turbo mode. It's shown in yellow. This is where fluid is shot from the reservoir to the motors at very high speeds, giving us an added boost without even needing to pedal. The fourth and final mode is our direct charge mode, which is shown in blue, where the rider can use the hand pump to force fluid into the accumulator. We designed a custom PCB to control the solenoid valves of the hydraulic circuit. It utilizes four high power solenoid drivers and a Bluetooth enabled Arduino microcontroller. Thermal testing was performed to ensure that the power converters and solenoid drivers could withstand extended run times. The NFP8 required an auxiliary pneumatic circuit as part of the competition. Ours was originally designed to be a remotely operated kickstand, but a structural design change required that we revamp the design of our pneumatic circuit. And so it was concluded that the best option was to create an air brake to assist in the hydraulic and mechanical brakes. Our race results are as follows, 24 minutes, 50 seconds for our endurance challenge and 34 seconds for our sprint race, and 590 feet for our, our efficiency challenge, which exceeded our goal of 500 feet. We got awards of best workmanship and best vehicle design from the competition. We'd like to acknowledge these companies and individuals for their advice and assistance. And here we are now show uh, the walk around and a demonstration for our vehicle.
Our design is fully custom. The mechanical, electrical, and hydraulic systems were created from scratch, not based on any previous designs. We designed, simulated, and welded the frame ourselves using rectangular aluminum tubing for ease of manufacture. We decided upon a tricycle styled vehicle for stability and flexibility. Our hydraulic system is fairly unique. Starting with the output, we have two vent axis piston motors running in parallel attached to each wheel. This provides a hydraulic differential for our system. We have a gear pump that transmits power from the rider and we have a hand pump for charging the accumulator. A custom built reservoir holds the fluid for the system. Two solenoid valves change the flow paths of the system. These are operated by our custom electronics. We designed this PCB with a built-in Bluetooth capable Arduino, giving us the capability to configure the system using a smartphone or via the onboard buttons. While the vehicle is in motion, the handlebar controller is used to configure the system. It is powered by a 20 volt DeWalt battery.